How you doing ladies and gentlemen, I am Dave B. I sell Chevys. If you didn't see my two previous videos on the 2021 Tahoe, the first one was comparing the 2020 body style to the 2021. The second one was on the base LT with nothing added to it other than all weather floor liners. And now we're moving over to this one, which is gonna be the next step in line. This is an LT four wheel drive, but it has a signature package which costs $5,685. It gives you a whole bunch of cool stuff. And we also added the bucket seats to this vehicle because this would come standard with a bench seat in the second row. And those bucket seats cost $370. So the total vehicle price of this vehicle with the packages and the destination fee, $63,650. Now the two main items you're gonna notice in this package first uh, are the 20 inch wheels, which are like a machine faced uh, uh, aluminum wheel, which look fantastic. And for the Chevy Tahoe, the all new full size panoramic sunroof which is huge uh, this front section will open over the back section so you'll have wide open air and there's also a, uh, a power shade that you can close and you can stop at any interval depending on how much light you want to get into the vehicle uh, if i sit into one of the bucket seats back here like i mentioned earlier this truck has you can see you just get an awesome awesome view uh, you know which really just opens up the cabin completely I've been waiting for a sunroof like this in a Tahoe. This is a fantastic feature that they added to this 2021. The next thing we're gonna talk about in this package is the power folding seats. And that's the second row I'm in right now and the third row as well. Let me show you how it works. To illustrate this, we're gonna to go to the back of the vehicle here. We're gonna look at the panel on the right hand side of your cargo area and you have buttons for both left and right seat for the third row and for the second row. So if I wanna fold down the right hand side, we're just gonna press that button and hold it. It's gonna drop the seat down. Same thing on the left. You'll notice the headrest flips down automatically, which is great. And the last model, if the headrest was up, you had to manually put those down first before the seat would fold all the way flat because the headrest would hit the, uh, the second row seats. To fold down the second row, same thing. We can just press the right button. We can press the left button and both of those seats are gonna fold down flat. Now you have a nice flat load floor if you're moving any kind of cargo or anything like that. Uh, it's nice having these buttons here in the back. Now, let's say you're sitting in the third row seat. So we're gonna lift those back up. And I'm gonna show you a couple more ways to fold the second row down. When you bring these seats up, you do have to lift these up manually, but again, you don't have to put them down when you're folding the seat. Now, like I said, my last two videos, you know, I'm six foot five. I can fit inside this truck in the third row very, very comfortably. And what I want to point out back here, just like the last generation Tahoe, you do have power buttons here and you have one on this side here. So if you have your children or, or anybody's in the back seat for that matter, and they have to fold the second row seat down, you have two ways to do it. In the last video I showed you, you can just pull this uh, strap nice and easy. In this model, you can just press this button once and it's going to bring it down. If you press it again, it's going to tumble it right up. Just to make it nice and easy for your uh, third row passengers to get in and out of the vehicle. One last cool feature about the third row power folding seat, they did actually add two buttons up here in the front. So if you're uh, driving a vehicle and for whatever reason you get somewhere, you have to lower those seats down, you can actually do it right here from the driver's seat. And then, uh, you know, whoever's with you can load their car going the back or whatever the case may be. Um, so it's nice that they added those two buttons up front. You can also press them up as well for, uh, you know, the ability to have people sit in them. The signature package will also give you some more uh, driver comfort features. So you do have a heated steering wheel, which is added to this model. Just press the little button there. When the light's lit, it's on. It adds a power tilting and telescopic wheel, and that button is right here on the side of the steering column. It gives you power folding mirrors. One press of a button, you can tuck those two mirrors in in case you're pulling into the garage or something like that. And the LTs all have memory, but in this one, it's gonna add the, the steering wheel to that memory feature. So when you set driver one or driver two, it's gonna remember the position of your seat, your mirrors, and your steering wheel. In my last video, we talked about how all LT models have like the forward collision alert and the emergency braking, the forward emergency braking. Uh, this vehicle adds some extra safety features. So in this one, you have a button right here. This is for lane departure warning and lane keep assist. That's the camera system that can identify lane lines. And if you start to leave your lane, it'll give you an alert. It'll also nudge the wheel left or right to put you back in your lane. It also gives you lane change alert with side blind zone alert. That's a little symbol here in the mirror. I don't know if you can even see it there. Uh, that lights up orange when somebody's either in your blind spot or if you put your turn signal on to change lanes, it can sense, I, don't, I think it's 200 feet back that it can actually uh, sense a car coming at you at a fast rate of speed. So the idea is if you're going to change lanes, but somebody's zooming up behind you, 
it's gonna flash and let you know that somebody's on the way, just in case you don't see them or you didn't judge how fast they were approaching your truck. In the signature model, you have front and rear park assist sensors. The rear also has cross traffic alert, which can sense 60 feet left and right. So if somebody's approaching the vehicle as you're backing out of your driveway or a parking spot, uh, it can give you an alert that somebody's on the way. And it has rear pedestrian uh, alert as well. And even with all those safety features, of course you get the camera, which is surround vision, and you get a nice HD uh, front camera. You'll see along the bottom here, you can press these little buttons that'll give you front and rear. You have an aerial of the back, aerial of the front. You have front side, back side, trailer hitch. Now they have warnings on here that you can turn on like either guidelines or um, a hitch line. So as you'll see there, that's the guidelines, that's the hitch line. Um, as you move your steering wheel, you'll see that moves with the wheel, of course. This way, it, you know, puts you right where you need to be. And all of these things can be seen, uh, you know, on the fly when you're in reverse. When you're in forward, uh, I think it's six or seven miles an hour. At that point, it's going to turn off. So if you're in a parking lot or parking spots, you're moving somewhere slow, you can see a front image as well. But once you start driving, it's going to turn that camera off. And since we're talking about hitch guidance, it's also good to mention that the signature package comes with an advanced trailering package, which gives you an enhanced cooling system. It also gives you a trailer brake controller, which is located right here next to your, uh, you know, your four wheel drive controls. And uh, this is so if you have a, a trailer with electric brakes, you're already linked up. When you plug into that seven pin wiring adapter, it's gonna link those trailer brakes right to that switch. So this here was just a quick rundown on what you get in a 2021 uh, Chevrolet Tahoe four-wheel drive LT with the signature package. Again, we also added the bucket seats to this vehicle. And I don't know if I mentioned in my last video, uh, but these vehicles, the LT does come with heated seats standard. Uh, those buttons are right down here for driver and passenger. Uh, this model here will also have rear heated seats, uh, which I didn't mention before when I was back there. Um, I think the LT signature package is going to be one of our more popular vehicles. As I get more Tahoes in, uh, like the Z71, which is something I don't want to forget about, uh, I'll be making more videos. So if this is the first one you saw, check out the playlist. I'm going to link them all together so all the Tahoe videos will be in one spot. And if you have any questions, just put them down in the comments below. Uh, I am Dave B. I sell Chevys. Been selling Chevys for 15 years. Started this YouTube channel about two years ago, looking to grow it you know, sky's the limit. So if you haven't subscribed and you got some value out of this video, uh, I'd love it if you hit that subscribe button and hit that thumbs up. This way it pushes the video out to more of the YouTube community and uh, people can get maybe some answers that they're, they're looking for. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.